Good morning. Sorry. Y'all know it's always a very chaotic intro over here. Okay, we're going to Starbucks really fast because Carson just wasn't having a good morning when I dropped him off because he wanted to take his toy in school and he couldn't. And I know it probably seems like nothing, but anyways, I didn't want my baby to be sad. So I was like, okay, I'll trade you the tears for Starbucks. So I dropped them off at school and I'm getting Starbucks. This whole vlog is literally gonna be like a maintenance, get ready with me for a date night vacation vlog. If you could tell by the title, we're starting off a little bit out of whack because you know what? I got that text message that nobody wants when you wake up in the morning that was like, hey boo, you know, when your hairstylist tried to reschedule you. But anyways, yeah, we got rescheduled, but it's gonna work out fine. Uh, me and her worked it out. I just switched the order of my appointments. So we're gonna do nails first. Well, not even nails, cause y'all know I'm wearing press-ons right now. So I'm gonna get in my toes redone. Then I'm gonna go get my hair done. Then I'm gonna come back to my side of town and get my lashes done before I pick the boys up for school. We're gonna get into all that, but let's go to Starbucks Arnell. Put the girls onto a new drink. I hope her story didn't already expire. It probably did. She got a new drink from Starbucks. Okay, she gets strawberries and cream frap with extra strawberry puree blended into the drink with an extra pump of syrup. We're gonna try that today and then I'm also gonna get the kids some stuff. So let's go into Starbies. Can I be bold enough and take my big camera in? Let's see, we're going to a new Starbucks today. I never knew this was over here. We got Apple Pay on our phone, we got the car key. Okay, let's go. I literally look crazy. This is how I'm walking around. My beef. <laughs> Good, how are you? Can I have two of the birthday cake cake pops and then can I have four turkey bacon sandwiches? The actual, the bacon, the egg, that one. Not the turkey bacon one, no, that's the one I usually get. I love that one. Can I have two tall pink drinks? And then I also wanted to get a strawberry and cream frap with extra strawberry puree, please. Okay, that's fine. Do you have any raspberry syrup? Can I have a pump in each? Thank you. Thank you. You too. I think I could do it in one trip. Oh yeah, okay, they're all on there. Thank you. Bro, have a good day. Yo, I'm coming to the Starbucks every time. Every time. Hold on. I don't know how I'm gonna ride with this trip. First of all, that is my new Starbucks home, like, period. 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 It's the vibes in there. Like, y'all know I don't like going to my other Starbucks. Like, if you know, you know. It's very. <laughs> Anyways, everybody else is very dressed up because we're in Uptown. So they got their business outfits on. And I look like this. <laughs> but I walked in there and there's nothing but black people working in there. I'm like, yeah, say less. I wouldn't have you going back to my other Starbucks. It's like, if I'm over on this side of town, oh, yeah. And it was super quiet in there. The parking for being in the middle of Uptown is superb. Yeah, shout out to the guys. Yeah, shout out to them. And my uh, barista subscribe to, to the YouTube channel. Do you feel me? And put the notifications on. I was like, oh, big period. That's the type of energy I love to see. Anyways, I ended up getting five pink drinks, four bacon gouda egg sandwiches, because his teachers were like, they didn't want nothing to drink, because I asked the boys teachers, did I tell you that? I was like, oh, I'd ask the teachers if they wanted anything, because I thought that would be rude if I just bring the kids something, you know what I'm saying? I'm bringing them back some Starbucks, and I got them pink drinks. If they don't like them, they obviously don't have to drink them, but just a sandwich or a sandwich and a drink. You know, might as well do the whole shebang, you feel me? So I'm gonna run this stuff back into them. I also got myself a pink drink because I don't know if y'all could hear or not, but he said they didn't have the stuff to make the strawberry wrap that I wanted that I was telling y'all that Arnell said was good. So we'll have to try that another time. I really had no intentions on going to Starbucks today. I haven't been to Starbucks actually in a while, y'all. Anyways, here we are. I'm gonna leave mine in the car. Okay, BRB. Okay. Everybody has been taken care of. But Carson was screaming when I went in there and I was like, oh no. Cause I know this is not what y'all be up in here doing at school cutting up like this. That is not acceptable. He was like screaming at the top of his lungs. And I heard somebody screaming when I was walking up the stairs. But I'm like, ain't no way that's my kid. And then I walk in there and it's Carson sobbing. My Carter stole my spot. I said, listen, not screaming. Okay, we is not screaming. Not that I have those kids. I was like, uh-uh, not today. I said, do you hear me? I really honestly don't know what I'm about to do though. The nail shop doesn't even open until 9.30 and it's 8.30. Anyways, I got cake pop. So nutritious. I wonder if Aaron's still at home. He was still there when we left this morning. 
life's great. It's a little watery. And you know what sucks? The mall's not open either. I can't even go to the mall. I was like, dang, maybe I could just knock that out. Mall don't even open till 10 o'clock. Who told the mall to open at 10? No. Here's T. This is what's going on. Me and my baby daddy, we're going on like a little one day staycation in the city just to have like a little time to ourselves, a night free from the kids. Originally, well, we're doing it in the middle of the week because that was just easier for the people that can help us watch the kids schedule. That's why we're doing it because today is Wednesday, y'all. Like we're doing it on like a random Thursday, but we are basically going to stay at the Thompson Hotel here in Dallas and go to the spa. And then we're going to go try like this new Chinese restaurant. And then we're going to go to the movies and see Scream because Aaron really wants to see that. And then just go back to the hotel, obviously chill, go to sleep, sleep in. That's the most important part of this whole thing. Sleep in. And then um, today is actually my little brother's birthday. I need to text him. I thought the hairstylist was texting me again. I was about to say, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> my phone is blowing up today. Everybody just hitting my line. I feel popular. No, I'm kidding. That's kind of basically the agenda. I'm going to be getting my makeup done, getting my hair done. But for today, this is like the maintenance and prep day for the actual staycation tomorrow. Today we're getting our toes done our hair done and our lashes done and then tomorrow morning we don't have a reservations for the spa until 1 30 and check into the hotel is not till 3 so i think we're gonna go shopping in the morning well, at least i'm gonna go shopping i don't know if aaron's gonna go to work for a little bit in the morning or not but i want to go to the mall and pick out a couple accessories to go with the outfit that i'm gonna be wearing tomorrow for our little date night and then we're gonna go to the spa we're gonna come back i'm gonna like do my shower whatever and then i'm gonna get, be getting my makeup done because y'all know i've been wanting to get back into like doing get ready with me's but i feel like i like doing them more like vlog style because y'all know i'm not good at like sit down type of videos and i can't really do my own makeup and do like chit chat get ready with me and stuff so you know i like to go through the whole process and day with y'all sorry about the steering wheel view i have to get a better mount for this Camera. Let's open this up too. I feel like it looks just more vibey when we got the the top back. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there we go. It was missing the little. Uh. But yeah, so this is technically like a get ready with me, but we're just doing it vlog style. So let me know how you guys feel about this. I feel like it'll be fun. And I plan on doing these like a little bit more frequently. Me and Aaron are gonna try to like get back into our dating routine and schedule. We usually go on like dates once a week. Sometimes they're just like casual though. We'll just go to lunch or we'll just go to the movies, but we usually do go on a date once a week, but we're gonna romanticize them a little bit more. And everyone's not obviously gonna be like a staycation or anything like that, but I'm gonna start like, you know, getting cute, getting like dedicated outfits, planning on my outfits, getting my makeup done. And then I'm also gonna do like a Q and A while I get my makeup done. So I think this whole vlog is just gonna be lit. Like I'm very much excited. I'm very much excited for my date, for the day, for the staycation, for everything like. It's coming, it's coming with vibes, we're back with us. And I have a fire ass shower routine to put y'all on to. So yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my before. Musty, dusty, crusty. I don't even want to see my hair underneath this. I was on the phone with my friend this morning when I was getting ready to leave the house. And she was like, you're going to drop your kids off like that? They're going to be so embarrassed. <laughs> Listen, everybody in there knows the hair day. All his teachers are black, so they must put two and two together. She coming in here looking like that because she's going to get her hair done. That's just a lot, right? Like, y'all know I'm going to go get my hair done, right? I'll see y'all whenever I figure out what I'm gonna do because I have a whole hour to kill. If I could find a nail shop that opens sooner, that would be better, but all of them open at 9.30 or 10. My phone finna die. Maybe I'll just go home. I need to finish cleaning up my room anyways. Opens at 11 a.m. Girl, bye. All right. Let me just tell y'all, when you have a good thing going, don't ruin it. I'm back home, but I'm about to leave, so really what the point of me coming on here to tell y'all was that I got this guy. And I don't know if y'all saw it real good at Starbucks, but anyways, isn't this beautiful? Oh, this is like my favorite new cup. Oh, I love a good cup. Why they put a purple straw on there? I don't know. I'm gonna change it out for a white one, but look, I feel like it's too sunny. Like you, can, you can't really see it. Do you see? It's the vibes. It's a vibe. But I already have my Stanley cup and I don't feel like washing it out. Okay, we are headed to Zidane shop. Let's go. Listen, I can only get a color change. I don't have time for this today. I'm trying to pick a color. I'm thinking this one right here. Cause I want something that's like neutral that matches my nails. So either that one or 
I think maybe, ooh, this one maybe. No. Oh, this one looks perfect, actually. Let me take a picture. More people walking around. They don't got nobody to see them. I'm taking a picture. What number is that? Ooh. Montage. Shut my hand. I'm so sorry. My toes look like shit. Yo, yeah. All right, toes are done. Let me put myself in park first. The middle of my feet, like on the bottom, felt asleep. Like, I don't even know what is going on. Oh my goodness. I need to put in the address for my hair appointment. She's kind of far. She kind of far, but that's okay. We got time. We gonna get there right on time. Oh, I hate driving myself far though. I be wanting to Uber. I'm a passenger princess. I will drive every once in a while. I'm trying to give my mans a break, but only close places, like nearby places. <laughs> We're headed to the hair appointment. I was gonna try and stop and get some food, but it's 10.30, so like, what do you eat at 10.30? It ain't lunchtime yet, but it's definitely not breakfast anymore. I don't know. I should have probably got a sandwich from Starbucks, but ever since somebody commented on my video and they were like, that sandwich tastes like dog food, I was like, <laughs> I'm screaming, first of all. And then I can't air, it don't taste the same now. So thank you for ruining my favorite breakfast sandwich for me. Like, I'm so pissed. <laughs> the next time I ate it after I saw that comment, I was like, this is not. <laughs> I'm so pissed. <laughs> the only other kind of sandwich I eat, like breakfast sandwich, is like a chicken biscuit or something. Oh my god, there was a possum dead in the road. Ah, that's so sad. I really am convinced that people purposely run over animals in the road. Well, maybe not everybody. Let me not say everybody because obviously some accidents happen. But I be talking to some people that I know, like friends, family, and they just be like, oh yeah, if you run out in the road, I'm gonna keep going. I'm like, y'all are sick in the head. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna try to avoid the animal at all costs. I'm not just gonna run it over. Squirrels do begin on my nerves though because they just be playing in the middle of the street like why are you doing it anyways before we get off way off topic <laughs> i'm headed to get my hair done if i stop and get something to eat then i'll come back and we call y'all but i guess i'm gonna just drive because y'all know i can talk and drive for way too long and it's just, i'm trying to work on that okay so i'll see y'all once i get to my hair appointment i don't even know what i want to listen to I haven't really been listening to a lot of music lately. Listen to a podcast. I might turn on a vlog because it's like a 30 minute drive. Let's see who posted. I posted. Did you guys watch my last vlog? Huh? Yeah, I'm kidding. Ooh, the hair is done. I'm gonna show y'all the back and the whole run around. I think it's cute. I haven't actually really liked my hair when I left the hair salon in a long time. And I feel like it's so cute. Like my head shape is not the cutest. So just, you know, you know, I look a mess right now, but the actual braids, like the hair is cute. But we're headed to Chick-fil-A before we get our lashes done oh the line is packed love that for me i will leave here on the screen who did my hair y'all know i don't be doing promo anymore but hear me out hear me out hear me out i used to always say the people or places i would go but like i pay full price for my service you feel me and technically this is my job and if i put y'all on somebody and y'all go to them then that's money in their pocket and i didn't get nothing out of it but my mindset has changed <laughs> i be hating when i see people get their hair done and stuff or get a surgery and then they gatekeep the surgeon like it's really not that deep and i feel like i can be a blessing to other people by sharing them especially if i have a good experience with them and she was super sweet and my hair looks good i will say shoddy is heavy-handed but I, maybe i'm just tender-headed i don't know but i was in the chair like with literally with my fist ball like this and i'm like <laughs> chick-fil-a do not need two lines hello can i get an angry order carter can i have the spicy deluxe meal and can i have a frosted lemonade as the drink tea deluxe with the frosted lemonade any sauce barbecue sauce please what else for you today that's all you have a great day thank you you too Bye. i'm glad she was confident in me she just walked away before it even said my card was approved what if my card <laughs> That actually happens to me, not like so often, but like I'll forget, well, not even forget, but like I be losing my credit cards a lot and then sometimes I'll find them and have the old credit card in my wallet and then I'll go to use it and I'll be like, oh, this is awkward. They probably think I don't got no money. <laughs> 
but anyways yeah i will put her name on the screen of the girl that i went to she did like a super good job and she was real sweet i'll definitely be back to her i'm probably gonna low-key get on her site and see if i can book her for box braids too it is far i will say that so she's in like arlington but Eulis area so that's like on the other side of africa for me you know when you find something dang you stick with it do you feel me i'll probably go back to her i'm trying to think what i want to do for my next hairstyle because i was really like set on getting some medium knotless box braids but getting the 613 and 27 color mix but now like for my trip to the dr because i only got this so i could have my hair done and i have to walk around with my hair not done for the next two weeks before i go on my trip and get my hair done again and i'm leveling up okay i'm gonna be a bad bitch i'm gonna stay with my hair done like i feel like i do stay with my hair done but not all the hairstyles are giving you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna actually like better yeah i'm gonna get on her site and see if i can book her again and go back to her maybe for my braids i don't know what i want to do now though because i'm like if i get color for the trip and then i regret it because it like doesn't go well with like my outfits or i will be pissed hi yes okay. thank you okay. have a good day thank you i thought it was nice that my hair look good i know when i go home aaron is gonna gas me up he loves when i get braids he's gonna be like that shit is fire no no i'm lying he's not gonna say that he's gonna be like yo shit look hard that's what he's gonna say say yo shit look hard baby <laughs> she did her thing for sure i know it's quick i'll put it on the screen i was originally gonna get a heart design because i thought that would be real cute but then i was really looking at the braid pattern and the braids go like this way and i was like that's not gonna look cute on me like i need something that goes back or it's gonna look funky on my head like because i have like a can y'all tell i mean when i have braids i can probably see the shape of my head but like it's like it's giving like i have a small head but it's giving like mega mind shape <laughs> do you feel me and so i know what looks bad and good on my head shape if i would have gone in this way i probably wouldn't have liked it and that's how she did it when she did like the heart design i thought about asking her if she could do me like a heart on the side but I was like, it's cool. I'm not really tripping off of it. There's always next time. The next hairstyle I plan on doing, I think I'm gonna get a closure sewing and try that out after I get my braids. And see what else she did for. But anyways, my camera battery's about to cut off and I'm at my last appointment, so. See you in a second. Before. Warby Parker offers everything you need for happier eyes eyeglasses, sunglasses, contact lenses, and eye exams. And you can shop with them online or in store. Warby is super affordable with glasses starting at only $95, including prescription lenses, sunglasses, and progressives. Something really cool that Warby offers is their free at home try on kit. So basically what you do is you'll go onto Warby Parker's website and you can take a quiz and Warby will suggest some glasses to fit your face and style. You order five pairs of glasses and then try them for five days. There's no obligation to buy, it ships free and includes a prepaid return label and you can try taking the quiz today to find a pair that is perfect for you. When I'm looking for glasses, what's really important to me is color and shape. So I always like to stay within the neutral tone so that it matches the outfits that I normally wear. Through my quiz, these are the glasses that I was recommended. If you're interested in trying Warby Parker's free home try on program, order five pairs of glasses to try at home for free for five days. There's no obligation to buy, ships free, includes a prepaid return shipping label. Try five pairs of glasses at home for free at Warby Parker backslash McKenna. Thank you again to Warby for sponsoring today's video. Good morning. This is not how I was expecting to see you guys next, but I kind of just picking up the vlog back where I left it off because let me tell you why I washed my face and brushed my teeth, which is out of order because I still need to shower. But anyways, okay. So basically we were supposed to go have our little staycation on Thursday. <laughs> the person that was supposed to be keeping our kids was basically like, oh yeah, sorry. I actually have to go out and so we, we canceled last minute because we couldn't find anybody else to keep the boys so fast forward today is Monday and my little brother said he was able to keep them today so shout out to the uncles I really want to talk shit but I'm not I'm not because I gotta remember this is the internet so I'm not gonna say what I want to say but if you ever see this they know who I'm talking about. Anyways, my brother ended up 
saying that he'd be able to watch the kids today so we basically rescheduled from thursday to monday so we're still gonna do i don't know if we're gonna be able to do all the same things because originally we we're supposed to get like a couple's massage and go to the spa but we had to cancel the reservations at the last minute so i don't know and then we didn't even know that we we're gonna have a babysitter for today until yesterday night so i don't know if we're gonna be able to get another reservation for the spa but we still do have dinner reservations so as far as like going to stay at the hotel, we're still gonna go do that. I'm getting ready this morning to go to the mall. Aaron is gonna go to work for a couple hours before we do whatever we're gonna do because originally we had an itinerary and plans and now we don't. So he gave me some money, I'm gonna go shopping. And guess what, you'll never believe this. I just started my period this morning and my period is like three days early and it's been three days early like these past two months and I am not fucking shoddy like because who does that on a staycation like that is so rude so rude agenda is get ready pack mall spa hopefully chill out i'm getting my makeup done <laughs> big purr and then we're going out to eat and then originally after we went out to eat we were supposed to go to the movies but we ended up going to the movies the same night we were supposed to still go out because one of aaron's brothers was able to come over and stay with the kids so we at least go to the movies i was crying i was really upset and now it makes sense because i started my period where i was so emotional because usually i don't get that upset for some reason i was literally like boohoo crying all of thursday because we didn't end up like getting to go and the reason why we couldn't go was like just so petty i was just so upset but anyways yeah basically aaron was like okay well let's at least try to do something his older brother came over and stayed with the boys for a couple hours and we went to go see scream and it was actually really really good if you know me you know i'm a scaredy cat i am not like a horror movie slasher type of girl it was actually very good like i stayed with the whole thing and aaron fell asleep per usual but it was a good movie i've never seen any of the other screams though but it was cool oh yeah i don't know brush my teeth I'm gonna finish brushing my teeth. I'm gonna hop in the shower really quickly. And then when I get out, we're gonna pack all of our stuff for tonight. I'm finished getting ready so we can head out. But I need to hurry up because it's already 8.30. And my little brother is coming by. So I can like tell him everything before he picks the kids up from school. I really need to call my bed daddy. That's just my baby daddy. He's probably just getting them out of the car and dropping them off at school. But I was calling him to tell him that he needs to let the school know. Because I don't think my brother is on the list to pick them up. Which he should be. Side eye. Bombastic side eye. The two people who are on the pickup list are going to be getting removed from the pickup list. Okay. I cannot believe this. Right. Now we're headed... To the mall i have oh well, actually i don't even know what i want to get anymore at this point because the freaking outfit that i wanted to wear came in the mail and i don't even know if i really like it all that much so now i'm kind of like do i need to go shop for a whole new outfit we're about to find out i'm gonna call one of my friends and get her opinion because y'all know i can't dress to save my life so she was helping me like coordinate this and plan and we did overnight shipping and everything to get all prepared and then boom plans canceled but anyways y'all can tell i'm still a little salty about it low-key i'm being very passive aggressive i don't know what to do with these baby hairs they i should just left them carving man i'm gonna put all of that behind my ear because that's just entirely too much i'm in a rush here and the baby hairs do not not to cooperate with me. I honestly, to God, have no idea how she did my baby hairs the first day. Like, she had two swoops on them, but I have no idea how she did that. So, if this one could just stay, like, you know, I might spray it down with a little bit of hairspray or something. I'm not really too worried about it right now because I'm just about to go to the mall. Like, but I also don't want to look crazy, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Excuse me, how does this go? It's like I gotta bring it all the way out and then all the way back. Send help, please. I just want to be a real girl. I think that's the best we're gonna get for right now. I'm not good at doing the fluffy edges. I tried A for effort. Can I get an A for effort? Okay, I feel like they don't look even, but that's all right. I should have put my moisturizer on first. Damn it! All right, so yeah, we just need to throw on some lotion really fast. I already got dressed. I'm wearing like this little two-piece set from my outfit online. Love it. Finishing up my skincare. 
I wanted to get to the mall early just in case we can get reservations for the spa, especially because now that I'm on my period, I really, really, really want to get a massage because I'm all crampy. I need to put my heating pad on too. I'm putting some self tanner drops in my moisturizer because you know that Florida sun had your girl looking right and now I'm looking. But I really honestly hope this doesn't break my face up because I've never used this one before. This is the number 12 bronzing face drops. I usually use the L'Oreal ones, but I bought these a long time ago. Today was probably not the day to try something new, I'll be honest. And my skin's already kind of breaking out a little bit because I am on my period, which I didn't know my period was gonna start today, so I'm actually a little bit pissed off. I'm a little bit upset. Not gonna lie, I was not expecting that today. I feel like we also need a little bit on the eyelids. Okay. Unplug the butter. Let's go spray ourselves. I don't know if I wanna wear Joe Malone or Burberry hair today. I mean, Scarlet Poppy. Ooh, this is a hard choice. No, it's not, I'm really not going anywhere. I already have this in my hand, so might as well. Lotion of the day. Ooh, I low key. Oh, did I order this? I just placed my Sephora order for the Sephora sale, and I'm pretty sure I forgot to get my freaking body serum from Necessaire. I'm so mad. I don't know what shoes I'm gonna wear with this though. I need like a cream colored tennis shoe. I mean, I have my phones, but I feel like that's not the same. That's not the same vibe. <sighs> it's gonna have to do for today. I was gonna wear sandals, but I feel like this outfit is like so casual for sandals. Yeah, I think my dips are good thing. These browns, it's too many different shades of brown if I wear brown sandals. Oh, uh, maybe not. I'm gonna put one foam on and one sandal. Let's see what looks better. I feel like the foams don't look bad, but it's giving more running errands. So why are we stressing? I don't know. I don't know, mate. Sunglasses. I feel like the sunglasses are only appropriate with certain hairstyles. That's what we're also gonna do. I need to go shopping for sunglasses. I don't know if I'm gonna shop for sunglasses today though, because I'm gonna wait until all my vacation stuff comes in and then go shopping for like my accessories because I ended up ordering some more stuff. We're almost good to go. I'm trying to like make mental notes. And I low key need to make a list of everything we need to pack. I can't believe I started my period. This is the most focusest thing ever. How dare my period come unexpectedly. I'm throwing tomatoes. We're not getting anything fancy on the bed making today. It's just gonna be a little. I tried to throw it together. <laughs> I just cleaned my room and my kids already came in here and destroyed it. This goes in the bathroom. Trash. Being a girl and being on your period is literally the absolute most annoying thing ever. I feel lightheaded, like I'm gonna throw up, and ugh, all of the above. So we're gonna stop at Starbucks. <laughs> I wanna try to get this wrap again, but get it the right way. Well, oh, y'all don't even know because it was a whole different separate vlog. Okay, so Arnell basically said that you get a strawberries and cream frappuccino, which I never even knew they had. Shout out to her. And then you add strawberry puree and ask them to blend it in and then ask for like one extra pump of something. Yeah, I'm going to try to get that. Listen, I can't eat the, the sandwich anymore. Y'all really messed that up for me. I won't lie. So I don't know what I'm about to get to eat because I'm starving low key. I need to get something on my stomach. I was able to call make reservations for our massage at 2.30. So we're a little bit more pushed behind than we were before. But I'm thinking if I can go to the mall quickly, come home, pack. Because they have other things to offer at the spa besides just the massage. But I'm supposed to be getting my makeup done at 5 o'clock because we have restaurant reservations for 6.30. And we're going to this... Ooh chow the curve the curve maybe i'll try the egg white bites with the red pepper hi sorry can i have um a grande strawberries and cream frappuccino and can i add strawberry puree but blend it in you want blended more strawberry puree blended in yes okay so that was a grande yes please and then can i also do the egg white roast we um we uh we can still make the strawberries and cream, we just don't have the cream base. We would have to use coffee base and it does have a slightly different flavor. Um, okay, no, we can scratch that. That's okay. 
Can I just do um do a pink drink then? Yes, yeah, a pink drink with ice. Can I do grande? And can I add one pump of raspberry if you have it? We actually just continued raspberry. Oh no. Okay. Um that's then just without is fine. And then can I also have the egg white and roasted red pepper bites? For sure, egg white and egg bites and the grande pink drink. Anything else? That's all. Thank you. Okay, well that's a entire flop. They don't have the strawberry or the cream base to make the frap. And then they don't have raspberry syrup. The raspberry syrup really makes the pink drink a lot better than it normally is by itself, I'll be honest. I just don't see how they discontinued raspberry syrup. I can still get it off of Amazon. I got a bottle at home. You need me to bring it to you? <laughs> like, how do you just discontinue a flavor? It'd be the audacity I don't understand. Oh, uh, you guys, I honestly don't even know what I'm gonna go in the mall and shop for. So when I, I was gonna say got off the phone with y'all, it's basically a FaceTime call, be for real. So I called my friend because she was like helping me with my outfit or whatever because y'all know I can't dress. I was originally going to go to Diesel and get this like silver or chrome bag to go with the chrome shoes that I have to wear with the outfit. But now I'm like, I don't know if I like what I have. So I'm like, I don't even know is that what I'm shopping for. And then I realized if I do the silver and I do chrome, I have no silver jewelry to wear with it. And like some of my rings are kind of like mixed tones. Like they have like the silver, you know, little crystals in them or whatever. But I'm like, Ugh then I'll have to go get silver jewelry and I'm not going back to get any more like rings and stuff from like Fendi or anything because I honestly think like they're way overpriced for it. so many stones are missing on here they look so beat up I mean I guess it's just wear and tear but I don't feel like for the money like I'll just get something off of Amazon uh, so <laughs> get somebody else to do it okay get somebody else to do it now I'm like I don't know where I'm gonna shop or get any jewelry I feel like these days it's so hard to get stuff like in person unless you're like maybe shopping for like a shoe or something so I don't know I think I'm gonna go in to Neiman and just peek around but I'm mainly going to Diesel to look for the bag. I really have no reason to go into Neiman Marcus other than I just I'll probably enter in the mall going through Neiman and then go to Diesel because that's usually like my landmark for getting myself back to the parking lot and I'm probably just gonna valet. I'm cramping and I don't feel like walking. I don't even feel like driving myself around to be honest. And then I low key have to go to Ulta too because I need an eyebrow razor. My eyebrows are out of control. We need to clean them up a little bit. And then also I gotta get tampons because I can't be wearing period underwear trying to get a massage. Can I? I mean, I guess I could, but I don't know. That'd probably be a little awkward. And then we might go swimming since we don't have anything else planned or like, you know, other amenities that they have in the spa, so. I'm just gonna grab a box of tampons and some eyebrow razors. This pink drink better hit. Oh, I need to post on Instagram. I guess I'm gonna post on Instagram and YouTube. I don't know what picture to use. That's my only problem. I need y'all to ask me some questions because I'm gonna do like a QA and a while I'm getting my makeup done. So I wanted you guys to ask me some questions you want me to answer. Okay, can we talk about Love is Blind before I get on the highway? I always be forgetting I need to pay. Like, I be getting up to the window like, thank you! <laughs> Thanks! Hi. Thank you. Hopefully there's nobody behind me. Okay. Hold on tight, you guys. Okay, we'll have to talk about Love is Blind after I get off the highway. This is gonna be loud, but... Egg bites. Mm, I'm pretty good. I like it. I was afraid it wasn't gonna be flavorful, but don't say nothing about it either. Don't ruin this for me. They're good. I like them. We're at the mall and I forgot my little camera, so I'm just gonna vlog on my phone when I go in. So mommy at Mommy at girl, but I'm gonna still try to vlog a little bit on my phone, but I'm not taking my big camera up in there because y'all know I'm mean, shy. If I had somebody with me, then it wouldn't be a big deal, but since I'm by myself, I don't like to vlog when I'm alone because I gotta have at least one person knowing what's going on. You feel me? My edges are slipping. Let's go, let's go. Let's We're back. We gotta pack. We're in a, a rush. So I'm not even gonna really be able to show you guys everything I got. We'll have to do it later. Okay, let's see. Okay, we got some glasses, some sunglasses, got a little bit of jewelry. I forgot all about Tory Burch, and I low key do like their jewelry pieces that they have. 
And then I went to Diesel. Did I tell y'all? I think that's where I told y'all I was going. We got a few extra things. I don't think I need these. But we're going to take them just in case because I really don't know what, what outfit I'm going to wear. I ended up kind of like switching up the whole outfit because I found this like cute bodysuit while I was in Diesel. So I also got a top. Where's my, oh, my Ritzia bag. I got a top out of Aritzia. So just in case, we're gonna take these black jeans. I thought I was gonna take like a little carry on y'all. I literally have this big, <laughs> my big suitcase, like be for real. I still gotta pack all my hygiene stuff. Taking my good American jeans. I'm gonna take these blue jeans to, like I said, I don't know exactly what I'm gonna wear yet. I feel like I have to try it on. I'm just gonna take these tops, even though I don't think I'm gonna wear either one of these. These are my little shoes from Zara. There's not gonna be any room for Aaron in here, and it's literally a day trip. Okay, let's get body care products together. Okay, I think I, that's everything I need on the clothes. Fingers crossed. Taking my loom. I got a half the loom for show. Let me put it in this other small travel bag, just so it's not sliding all over. Okay, we're taking a little, we're taking this Kaoli Cherry perfume, because the scent for tonight's shower routine is going to be like a cherry type of smell. I'm trying to think, I could probably low-key layer it with this. We're going to take it just in case. Not my scalp is itchy. Okay, I have gum already. I don't think I need anything out of here. I don't know. Let's take a little, let's take a little shimmer just in case I wear a bodysuit. Okay, let's go in the bathroom and grab the rest of the stuff. Sorry, y'all. I thought this would be way more like chill vibes, but clearly not. I'm glad we didn't end up getting or sticking with our original reservations because look at us now. Okay, I'm gonna take my watch. Okay, we're taking the Fenty Cherry lip oil i'll re show you guys when i'm getting ready because i'm obviously gonna actually get ready with you guys but i thought vlogging it would be a little bit more fun but i don't know okay i already put everything all together so we got our scrubs our lotion our body wash we need a bar soap i'm still gonna to run by walgreens really fast i wanted to go to ulta to get some more press on nails because i cut these ones down and my friend was like that looks so ugly and i was like okay thanks thanks <laughs> But I can't even be mad because I've been getting on her ass because we both bite our nails and she hasn't been wearing any pressed on nails or like getting her nails or anything. And I was like, girl, that's a little bit meat. She was like, yeah, you need to change those out. I'm like, okay, noted. Okay, we got a bar soap. I think that's everything I need out of here. I just need my coochie wash. Then we need a razor. Let's take a fresh blade. So we got a shave. Here it goes one. Taking our Philly razor. This is the feminine wash I use. I'm gonna take this too, cause I like this, even though I'm gonna like get my makeup done, but I like to put this on while I'm getting ready, the Flawless Filler, whatever lip mask, it like pumps up your lips a little bit, but it's cute. Okay, we got loom. I'm taking my own bag just in case. Okay, we need edge control. We got an edge control brush. Sorry, y'all, this is way more chaotic than I thought it was gonna be. My brother is also on his way. And we haven't even eaten lunch yet. Maybe we can go buy kava, but I was trying to be funny because Aaron really likes kava, which I think is hilarious. Um, I'm also going to take this liquid band-aid because I got a cut on my finger and this band-aid looks atrocious. So I'm going to wear a liquid band-aid. I'm just going to go ahead and moisturize my scalp while I'm here. I just got this stuff, but I think I talked to you guys about it in another vlog, so I'm not going to reiterate it but if you haven't seen that vlog yet just know the deets on the hair products is coming okay it's basically just like this rice water rosemary spray i found and then this hyaluronic acid serum it's kind of like the way one but it's a lot cheaper it's from pacifica if i can get it cheaper i will this is why i don't like going to the mall because i spent absolutely way too much money and i've been doing so good so i don't feel like super bad about it it is what it is i feel like that's why you gotta shop online and in advance Scalp is moisturized. Let's throw all of this stuff in the suitcase. Hopefully we can check into our room early. He said that most likely we would be able to check in early as long as they had something available. I wanted to get like a cute lingerie set, like our pajamas to wear, but I didn't have time to go into Victoria's Secret, so I think I'm just gonna take I'm taking like my Tommy John pajamas. If I'm feeling cute, I'll put this pink dress on. It just depends on what we end up doing afterwards. Because originally we we're supposed to go to the movies. Now I'm not going to the movies, so it's kind of like 
Does it really matter, you know what I'm saying? Skincare. We need skincare, hot show. I'm like addicted to this, I'm sorry. I have like spray every time I come home. Toothbrush, mouthwash, nail glue, toothpaste, my flat iron just in case. I need to press out my little baggy hairs. I think that's it. Let me check and see what time it is. Sorry, my ass is all out. What time is it? It's 12.40. Yeah, there's definitely no room for his stuff in there. I should have packed last night, but I honestly didn't even know if we were going to end up going. Anything else? Do we need anything else out of here? Ooh, yes. I'm glad I looked in here. We need a base of to wash Excuse me, or behind. Foot punchables. I think that's it. Okay. Hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. I think it's safe to say I got everything. I should have made a list. But doing what I do best. Oh, did that happen? Okay, let me go pee really fast. I mean, I look, you need to sweep up downstairs and just like wipe off the table and stuff. I don't know if the house like looking for the best. So I will see you guys when I get in the car on the way. So chaotic when I get on the way to the hotel and get back settled before we get our massages. I'll try to get some footage of what the actual spa looks like. I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to record the massage or not. You know, that might be frowned upon, but I don't know. I feel like with social media these days, people really don't trip as much as they used to. Just definitely gonna take my heating pad because I'm on my period. Tomatoes. Tonight is giving a period, don't stop nothing but a sentence. <laughs> ah, and that's just tea. But we'll see. Because the first day is kind of low-key like, okay, bitch, you doing too much. We're gonna see how the night ends up going. I try to pull this sheet down. Okay, let me unplug my computer. I gotta pee. Come on, come on, come on. I don't even know why I'm taking my computer. I shouldn't be taking my computer, but I feel like I always just take it. Just in case. You never know. I love this fluffy case off Amazon though. It's very convenient. I'm not gonna take this bag too, am I? This is doing too much. We're literally only staying for one night. Not even 24 hours. Okay, electronics in the bag. I am gonna grab some camera batteries as well though. Because y'all are obviously, you're obviously coming with me. How could I not take you guys? This is why he's gonna be like, you're doing too much. Phone's up there. I can take this camera too, just in case. I'm trying to decide if I should take my big tripod or not. He was probably gonna be like, yeah, you're doing absolutely too much if I take the big tripod, but be for real. What if I need it? Hmm? Should I take it? Because when I'm getting my makeup done, I'm doing a QA, and a so I'm gonna have like a place to stand my camera up and I want it to be high enough. This tripod only goes so high, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's gonna have to pack his own bag. Sorry, sweetheart. He should be here soon. Okay, but I need a piece. Oh, here it is. Okay, I think that's officially everything. All this to get a date night. <laughs> but it'd be like that when you have kids, you feel me? And I like for our kids to stay at home, even if like we're not here, but someone's watching them because I feel like they just feel more comfortable in their own space. And it's easier than having to pack all their bags. I think we're good. My brother is here, attempt to make the house look a little bit more presentable. Oh, yeah. I'm not gonna be able to get this down the stairs. <laughs> ah, it's too heavy. Close my closet because it's a atrocious mess. And we're off! Wee. 
We made it. What is this? Oh. The bathroom. Oh, look, the lights came on automatically. It's lit. Where's the lights? Shower. It's worth it. Um, they could have did a little bit better on the, on this. Oh, look, you can see the pool. The pool is nice. This is where I'm in a city view. Okay, so. <laughs> ah, okay, let's not forget the room keys. Okay, we got here right on time, so it's 1.56. We're about to go. We're about to go to the spa. We gave us a water when we checked in. I feel like the front is fancy. I'm not like overwhelmed by the room, but I don't know if I like this or the Statler better. I really like the Statler's back, but I like that this has like an outside view, but I thought the window would be bigger. It's cute. I like the decor here, it's neutral to it. I don't know, I like the virgin suit. The virgin was cool. I don't know if that's my top one or not. I mean, had they really shower? Yeah, I like that. All right, we shall be back. Okay, so basically when you get to the spa, you check in and then they give you some sandals and they put you in the men's and women's locker room where you can change into your robe and undress as much as you're like comfortable. And then inside the locker rooms, they have showers, bathrooms, and then they have the infrared and then the sauna. Um, so yeah, anyways, when we first got in there, I changed into my robe or whatever, and then I sat in the little red room, just because I have never sat in one of these before, but it was <laughs> so hot, especially just like in that robe. So yeah, I literally sat in there for like two seconds, and then you walk out to the like co-ed space, and they have these little chairs here where you can like sit and wait for your masseuse to come get you. They also have a cold plunge pool and like a hot tub type of thing. That you can go into if you have your swimsuits we didn't get into either one of those because they did have a little bit of like leaves you know just outside debris in there but anyways after that we went into the massage room and got our massages this is us after the massage he fell asleep i did not and i'm about to tell y'all why and just as like well that was interesting <laughs> he clearly had a good massage mine was a little rough it was a little rough i will not lie i did not fall asleep i was kind of like I didn't know I fell asleep. <laughs> he was snoring. <laughs> I was like, oh shit. But I don't know if I had some real big knots in my back or what, but she was getting them joints out. I, so do you feel better? I don't know. I feel like I'm about to sleep on it. <laughs> no, I can't see. I don't know. I do feel those. <laughs> mm, I'm not tired. I got one spot in my back that feels like sore a little bit. I'm telling you, she was like, oh, I was like, oh. But anyways, it was like a little spot. It was smaller than I thought it was gonna be. Basically like the outside area was like the co-ed space where you could like go in if you had your swimsuit into like the jacuzzi and then the cold plunge pool. And then I think there was a sauna out there too. And then inside of each room, so there was like a infrared room and then a regular sauna. And then that was it. And then they have like a little place where you can get pedicures, but I'm not gonna eat because I'm gonna spoon we're gonna eat dinner. What? <laughs> Go get a snack. What time is it? It's 3 30. I have to be in the shower by 4 30. Let's see what they have for room service. Are you gonna take a nap? Oh look, there's a bunch on oh, oh, oh. our hotel cocktails and cuisines. Which one we I wanna try the dill pickle the dill pickle ranch. Guest services so That's the one. Chicken ones. Got room service. 
and got barbecue wings. They're both the same. I don't like barbecue sauce. They're both barbecue. Spotlight. All right, we're about to take a shower because it's four o'clock. Let me unpack my stuff first. Hold on. Okay, these are the products that I'm going to be using. Everything is cherry scented. Yeah, I'll link all the products. This is Avita. This is the scrub I'm going to use. This is the body wash. This is new from Dove. They do make a scrub that goes with this, but I couldn't find it at the time. And then I also got the bar soap as a base. So this, this, and this in the shower, and then we're going to do. This as our feminine wash, and then I also brought a little foot sponge bowl just so I can wash my feet. I gotta hurry up a little bit on key because it's 4.15. I want to be able to have time to get out and kind of like lay my baby hairs and stuff before she does my makeup. My face is like all red from laying in the massage chair. Anyways, oh, we didn't even talk about this. Oh, I did a little bit, you know, she was hard. His, his was cool, I guess he said he didn't mind. Let's see if we can figure out how to work this. the most difficult shower I've ever taken two out of ten stars because both of the shower heads don't come on at the same time and then I didn't know how to turn it off anyways all right well, we got 20 minutes before she gets here so we need to hurry up I also forgot to bring my robe so I'm gonna have to like put my pajamas on first things first let's today has been like almost a complete fail like the time we're not doing well we need to wash our teeth put deodorant on wash our face lotion Close. No, I'm poor. Should have brought my tongue Lou, your girl's best friend. If you don't already use this, like literally throw away everything else that you have and get this. You're welcome. You are welcome. I'm also talking low because Aaron's in the next room. Sleeping. He was already sleep during the massage and he came huh? we came back you all know that and i'd be putting in between my little butt cheeks i mean i guess it doesn't really matter which one you use but i already put a tampon in as soon as i got out of the shower that really sucks so be great i'm gonna cleanse my face with the touch i gotta redo my nails i mean not just that I'm 
did not lather well at all. I even washed my face. Let's try again. Open. Oh, a little bit of problem. already we're in trouble yeah. i never got an eyebrow razor either i hope she has one so she can like clean up my edges <laughs> this is yeah sorry She usually wipes my face off anyways. We're just gonna moisturize it at least a little bit. Okay, we gotta lay these baby hairs somehow, some way, some form. We need a two-day staycation because this one night is gonna go by so fast. It's gonna go by so fast. Okay, I'm over these. I think I'm just gonna like try to tuck them under the braid. But they acting like they don't wanna go. I'm gonna get stressed out. I still don't even know what I'm really gonna wear. Y'all, we are way far behind. And then Min, he's just relaxing, sleeping that out like this. I feel like the little curls are fine because there's some curly pieces in the bun I can pull out. That's the best we're gonna get right now. <sighs> Lotion. This is just the Jergens Original Scented Cherry Lotion. I'm probably gonna come back home and take a shower anyways after we eat and like redo all of this, so it's not really that big of a deal, but I still wanna smell good right now, you know what I'm saying? This was just a trial run. We'll be better in the future. Okay, this stuff smells so good. This is what I grew up with my mom using, and it smells amazing. This is what I'm using for my lip gloss. I'm sure she'll put something on my lips, but I think I'm gonna I just wanna do like something real natural and like a pink lip. I don't know. I don't want to do anything too dark. Oh, I think we're going to do faux freckles too. I can't get the damn lid off. Send help. Oh my god, it's stuck. Okay. This stuff smells addicting. I got all the cherry products simply to match this lip gloss. This shit smells so good. Okay, let me brush out my eyelashes. I wish I had a fresh feel. It really pissed me off that everything got out of black, but it's whatever. Let's spray a little bit of this. This is the main perfume I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna respray myself before we leave, hopefully if I remember. But it's the Kaoli Cherry. Oh, that shit smells good. Okay. Okay, let me go throw my pajamas. I'm gonna meet y'all. Makeup. So as you can see, I obviously did end up getting my makeup done. However, I did not answer the questions or do the Q&A while I was getting my makeup done because her son was there with her and some of the questions were just like a little bit too much her um, for his little ears. And so I didn't feel comfortable just like answering all of them here. So I definitely owe you guys a Q&A. I was thinking about maybe doing it as a voiceover while I was getting my makeup done, but I didn't really know how y'all would feel about that. So let me know. Um, either way, I owe you guys a Q&A. And I'll be doing another one of these soon, so we'll definitely fit it into the next one for sure. I'm sorry. Don't be mad at me. I promise I'm going to get to the q and I promise, I promise, I promise. But anyways, yeah, this is how my makeup turned out. I can't get my glasses on the right way. My braids keep pushing them up, but here we go. Quick, quick, quickly. We're finna be late. Top jeans. I was going to wear these shoes, but I'm going to do the black ones instead. This is the bag. I'll have to show it all more in depth later, but... I don't like these jeans really with this. That's the best I could do. I could low-key change them. Mm. I feel like the dark ones would probably look better. Okay, hold on. PRP. Okay, these pants look a lot better. Shoes, I gotta do these on the car. Cause we are late. Late, 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 late. Lip gloss. Okay. Team, let's go. Okay, so the restaurant that we went to was called Fortune House in Greenville. This is my little review of the food. The fried rice was bussin'. Okay, and that's saying a lot. Like, the fried rice was actually pretty good. Um, the Cosmo was the drink that I got. It was mid. The orange chicken was good because it was, like, crispy. If that makes sense. Like, it was crispy orange chicken, and I really liked it. The beef and broccoli also 
was hitting and then I don't know why they brought out my pot stickers late but they were okay they really weren't that good I'd probably get them fried next time instead of steam but overall I feel like if you want to get good Chinese I would I would go back here for a good Chinese that that's really it it wasn't like spectacular but it was cool Well, hold on, y'all. Okay, we're back from eating. I tried, I think, to give y'all a little review of the food while we were there. I honestly didn't get any footage once we left because we were like in a rush. We were like 10 minutes late for our reservations. We're about to do what we do best, which is go to the movies. <laughs> we are literally the oldest, lamest couple ever. There's so many other things that we could do, but we're literally going to the movies. <laughs> I'm not really tripping. We're gonna get a bottle, go buy the little ice cream place that's by the movies, watch this movie, which is what I love to do anyways. So yeah, I'm wearing my pajamas. I changed out my clothes. I didn't end up liking my outfit at all. And I just feel like whenever I try to dress up, I just don't like it. Or like when I get done up, like I feel better now. Like no makeup, in pajamas, like I don't know. I wanna be a bad bitch, but I just don't have bad bitch in me. I'm just, I'm just a regular. I don't know, I just don't be, I'd be feeling uncomfortable. And I think I need to like lose a little bit of a weight to like, I just, mm -mm, or buy bigger clothes or something, I don't know. Today was just a trial run. I was trying something new, like a get ready with me, but like vlog style it. And that, that thing doesn't have to be perfect, you know, the first time around. But now I think I kind of know, like have a better idea of like, y'all are just here to arrive with me at this point. I'm wearing my Tommy John and I'm literally gonna wear my slides and how we're gonna go to the movies. We're gonna go see Mom and Mafia, which I've been wanting to see anyway. I'm excited. <laughs> the food was really good. I really like the food. I'm glad that we went there. I have like more stuff that I'll probably go back and try low key, but that whole area is just really cool for like getting drinks and food. And it's a very popular area, but it's very casual. So I definitely felt overdressed. Even though I wasn't really like dressed, dressed up, I just feel like the area itself is like super casual. I like wash my face. Every time I like wash makeup off my face, I'm always like so red. Look at me. I don't understand why that happens. It's like all on the side of my face too. Maybe I'm allergic to makeup. <laughs> and when I had the makeup on, I could like see my, I'm like breaking out a little bit on my cheeks. So I, that's why I came home and just like wash it off. Cause I'm like, I do not want to be breaking up. Just cause I wore makeup for 30 minutes. Like absolutely the fuck front. That's my little update to the movies. We go, we're going to the same movie theater we literally always go to, which I've never really done a whole review on the movie, so maybe I'll insert a little bit of my opinion on the movie theater and I'll get some clips while we're there, but it's the same one that we usually always go to. The movie starts at 9 and it's probably like 8 o'clock now, so we're gonna leave so we can go get some liquor and then get some ice cream. Watch the movie. I'm sure Anne's gonna fall asleep. It's okay. I always enjoy going to the movies. I could never get my baby hair to lay down, so that was a flop. I just ran out of time today, like I was just too in a rush. Not the edges. Looking crazier as ever. But good morning. We are up and we're about to low key just like get ready to pack up and go. Aaron went to the gym. I just took a bath because you know I had to take a bath. <laughs> I didn't get to take a bath in the tub last night. And I always book a room with a bathtub so I can take a bath. So I took a bath this morning. Woke up, my jaw is still on my period. So I'm kind of like, mm -hmm. just had a slow morning, which is so nice. But I just wanted to come on and reflect about this vlog because <laughs> and just like tell you guys my thoughts okay so basically like, i would love to do more of these in the future because obviously like i want to go on more dates than my man's you know what i'm saying but this was a little bit more chaotic than i thought it was gonna be but we're in your post your content season because this is probably normally something i would 
trash because it just didn't the content didn't go as planned personally i had a good time like this was a very might not seem like relaxing staycation but just to be able to like go to sleep not have to wake up in the night and then not have to wake up in the morning and go dumb crazy hard was nice to just have a slow morning i talked to the kids this morning also and they're like so happy to see us so i'm excited to pick them up from school i also kind of miss them in the morning it was nice not having to you know get everybody dressed and ready and out the door and breakfast and milk and all that kind of stuff which when i actually think about it puts in perspective to me it's really not that bad like it's nice to not be able to like have to do it on those mornings where you're like really tired it's actually really not that bad and i love waking up to my kids because especially the i was gonna say the older two but really not even they all wake up pretty well now they'll wake up so happy good morning good morning smiling laughing for the most part nowadays and then Mello, he always pretty much like wakes up really happy. Like he just gives me the biggest hugs in the morning. If they could just sleep in a little bit longer, like if we could get out of the bed on the weekends at like nine o'clock, eight o'clock, maybe even eight o'clock. Cause me and Aaron were both like, just like naturally up this morning at like seven. But dang, I wish they could sleep, you know, just a teeny weeny weeny bit longer on the weekends. This is my overall rating of the hotel, which I feel like when I first came in here, I sounded like very underwhelmed. And it is a nice hotel. However, I feel like you have to consider things for the price that you're paying. Like, yes, it is a nice hotel. Don't get me wrong. But I would say for like our views for being like a corner suite, which is like more expensive, the views, like maybe just the corner we're on are ass. Like you can't see like barely any part of the city and like you wouldn't come to dallas to see these views like if you want to stay at a hotel and you want to like see the city views like this is not where you would stay i mean the decor in here is cute the aesthetic is all cute like there's nothing wrong with it but it's just like i don't know i expected this to be like probably one of my favorite hotels and it wasn't the spa is also relatively small so while you can use the spa all day it's kind of like there's only so much you can do they have those two pools and then they literally have the locker room that i showed you guys and that's it which you know normal spas are usually like a little bit bigger they have like indoor co-ed space it's just a little bit more you know a wiggle room to like move around um and they didn't really have a lot of that here so i don't know why i'm still messing with these darn edges those are just my thoughts i feel like the restaurant was super nice we've never been really down to eat in the greenville area and there's so much to eat down there like we've never been all the way that far down on the side of greenville that we went to eat at the restaurant so i think we'll definitely be back there to probably try some more restaurants or just like walk around because we didn't really walk around last night because i would definitely like dress more casual i had on like little heels it was a little uneven in the walking spaces and i just wasn't gonna like walk around in those shoes because I know my feet would probably start hurting, so. Anyways, I think the food was good. It wasn't, oh my god, amazing. It was giving, like, nice Chinese takeout. But I'm a Chinese girl, and I really like Chinese food, so overall, I enjoyed it. I got leftovers that I kept that I plan on eating for lunch today. Um, I feel like the fried rice was really good, too. I ended up taking off all my nails last night, because one of them broke, so. Anyways, where else did we go? I think that was it. Oh, we went to go to the movies last night. We saw Mama Mafia. And it was probably the worst movie of 2023 that I've seen so far. And I've seen like almost every movie besides scary movies that come out this year. And I only say that because like the storyline wasn't bad. It was just more so like it was supposed to be like a comedy action movie, but it wasn't super funny and it wasn't super action packed. So it was just mid, you know what I'm saying? Like it wasn't overly funny. It wasn't overly, you know, dramatic or action packed. So I was just like, it was like a cute little movie, but I would have watched it like maybe at home on Netflix. It's not giving big screen, go to the movies to see that. I digress. Also the movie theater that we go to, cause I think I was gonna tell you guys, um, it's called Sinopolis. And it's basically like a theater that has like like if y'all have ever watched my vlogs and I showed you the seating, it basically like, depending on which theater you're in, you're kind of like sat two together. Well, in every theater you're sitting together with two people, if that makes sense, like you can lift up the middle thing and they're very large, very, very, very nice recliners. Like they go very far back and it's a lot of space to kind of like cuddle up and it basically like gives you like a love seat if you put the middle up, if you want to like cuddle up with whoever you're at the movies with. And in some of the theaters they put two and then there's a little space and then they put another two. In some theaters it's like two, a little space and then the, another person like kind of close by you but it's very nice luxe theater i will say they have like a bar it's up high up in one of the buildings downtown um so you kind of get like a little view when you're walking in with floor to ceiling windows yeah they have like the open bar the seats are comfy the only thing i will say is the food is 
trash and the drinks are trash if they could hit the mark on that it would be doing booming business but i actually noticed that that theater is empty a lot like we go to the movies sometimes and no one else is in there but us which granted we go to the movies on like weekdays at all times so maybe that's why but if you're in dallas and you're looking for like a nice theater i would definitely recommend going there for like you know the seating the visuals etc but i would either bring my own food in there like chick-fil-a or something you know some little click or i would eat before that's what we've been doing personally we've tried like almost everything on the menu it's nasty the drinks ain't strong it ain't no liquor in there <laughs> the, even the popcorn is stale like it's not good like the food is not good at all but those are just my thoughts and opinions so yeah we're getting ready to check out Aaron says the hotel gym is very nice you care about a gym but this is also like a residence where people live here also <laughs> see let me smell your outfits i put no deodorant yeah, you're stinky you need a balloon if i had deodorant i just smell like runny yellow it just smell good just sweet they be like i don't stink when i come home from the gym i'm like wait okay I don't like this shower either. It's very calm. And you can't have both at the same time. That's so general. I feel like they could have put a little bit more thought. Are you going to use the soap I have in there? I'm going to pick it up. Okay, while I'm packing up, I'm going to try to show you guys what I wore yesterday or the pieces that I got from the mall because we didn't ever have time for that. I think everything's by the door. Okay, I ended up getting some... A couple things out of Diesel. I had one in there originally just for the bag, and then she was folding up this onesie at the register, and I was like, oh, that's so cute. So this is what I ended up wearing. I feel like I need to find a little bit better of like baggier pants to wear with it. The bag looks like this. I think it's super cute. Um, and then this was the chrome bag that I got to wear with the chrome shoes that I didn't even wear. I do like the bag though. Like I don't know how often I would wear it, but I feel like for the price, it's not that bad. Like. If you consider Diesel to be like designer, then it's not like on the priciest side. So anyways, it'll probably sit in my closet most of the time, but I digress. What else? I got a couple of things from Tory Burch. I forgot all about Tory Burch and I was walking past it in the mall and I was like, oh, I can get a ring out of there for sure because I wanted to find like some silver accessories. I don't know if I was talking to y'all about that or not, but anyways. Yeah, we went in there. I got a ring. I will show y'all what my nails are horrible. What else did I get out of there? Oh, earrings, which I took off. This is the ring. It looks like this. It's super simple. These earrings, they just like are little studs that are kind of like bedazzled. These are the shoes I ended up getting from Diesel. I thought these were real cute. They're like very, like a sporty type of heel. The straps are brown. Anyways, this cute, a little casual heel with silver in them. And then the glasses that I ended up getting, I got out of Neiman. And they're little Dolce Gabbana glasses, but I don't know. I liked them a lot when I first tried them on, and then I was like, mm, I don't know, but like, they're, they're all great. And then I got one thing out of a Ritzita, which I think I packed, which I low-key probably would have liked this better. It's like a corset top that I got out of a Ritzita, but way too expensive. I think that's everything that I got yesterday. About to pack it up and go. Did I show you all the views from my room? I'll pull the curtain back. <laughs> Wee! See, this was the view. I feel like if you can't see the ball, it's not a good view. Like, what is I'm looking at? Mm -mm. The Pro Museum's over there. The Victor's over there. <sighs> Goodbye. Subscribe. See you another one.